almost four in the morning and this has been on my head for a while. That is, I don't know why I want to talk about this. It's kind of stupid. It's really stupid what I want to talk about. So, um, I don't know how tired you can tell I am right now. Um, so I was listening to my audiobooks and one series I'm on right now is the Inheritance series by Christopher Paolini. You know, the books about Aragon and all that stuff. I was listening to them and one topic that always shows up in the books is this is discovering your true name and uh, your true name is basically whatever it basically is the term that defines you and controls you because uh, in the in the in the book discovering your true name is uh, in the ancient language they have would basically have whoever knows your true name has power over you but I ended up adopting the idea of discovering your true name into something else. So, when I was a teenager, I was reading the ice when I first read the books. And um, the idea popped in my head. This idea popped in my head. What if you could discover your true, true name? It's because it is, as a way I understand it, and based on the books, it's not necessarily a single word. It defines you. It's a. It could be a. It can be one word, or it could be an entire paragraph that, that describes you. And if you speak it out, you know it has a power. It has a power over you. For example, one character in the book was named Sloane. He had a total of three words, which they never stated what those three words were. They, there were three words that defined him, and when he heard those three words, he knows who he. And he found out who he was. It pained him that he wanted to die. So, so it paid him so much he wanted to die. And that's sometimes knowing your true name isn't it. Why is there Parmesan cheese on my desk? I'm going to deal with that later. Um, as you can tell, I am fucking weird. Okay. I adopted this idea of finding your true name. Not in the ancient language, obviously, because that doesn't actually exist. But uh, it was just a made-up language for the books. So, finding your true name was an idea that popped in my head. Like, what if you can find that word or phrase that defined you? And I discovered that only twice. Because here's this, throughout your life, you see, one thing is true. That your true name changes. Your true name changes over your entire life. Who you are does not define you. Who you are now doesn't define who you'll be in the future or who you were in the past. Because I, I have, I believe my, uh, that I can tell that my name has changed three times. Uh, well, actually, I'm sorry, twice, two times. And I've discovered my name only twice. So, I do not know my current one now because I haven't sat, had time to do it. So I discovered my, my true name once. Uh, the first time, sorry, not, not, I discovered it twice. The first time I had, you know, I, I thought, you know, this would be a really cool idea if I could find out who it was. And I sat and it took me a whole week, a whole week to figure this out. I had to play with words in my head and uh, play with things like different phrases, like who who I was, and um, I sat and looked throughout my life. I looked at everything I've done, everything I have done wrong, everything I've done good, um, everything that everything about me. I had to look into it. My personality traits, my top, what what ones were bad, what ones were good, everything. I had to break everything down and look at it, and I discovered it. I don't remember what it was to this day because it was so many years ago, and uh, and that's what I discovered it, and it, I actually cried when hearing it, when figuring it out, because it made me because I didn't like it that that's what it was, and the second time I done it, and it was about a year later, and uh, I had change myself to improve myself. I didn't like the name I had, so I wanted to change that in some way, try to improve that. I, it didn't change much, 
but I I still didn't like what it was, but it was better than what it was. But it was better than the one before. Now, the name I currently have now is something I don't know. I haven't sat and discovered it. I have to take the time, discover everything about myself again. A lot of things change, like, because your name can also change by your affiliations of things. Like, say, you fall in love with somebody, your name would change drastically because you're not thinking about yourself, you're also thinking about someone else. Or having a child, for example. That I had a lot of drastic changes since, excuse me, since that time. It's been many years since I've discovered that name. Now, I personally encourage people to find out their true self. It actually builds a sense of enlightenment on yourself because to figure out who you really are, and you can't, you have to, you can't look at it that, ooh, your own opinion of yourself. No, it's not like that. You have to give yourself an unbiased opinion. Like, you actually have to look at this possibly at other people's points of view. Um, it's an odd, it's it's hard to do. And I had to be unbiased. I had to think, look at this in a neutral standpoint. And I'm probably gonna try to do this again. Um, Personally, guys, I wouldn't tell people your true name. Not, not for the reason that I, that Aragon does it, but for the reason that it's something you should know personally. And I don't think you should share that. Unless you trust someone deeply with that info. So, um... I think I'm going to go on that quest again. To find my true name, as I, as I like to call it. Finding your true name. The more simpler term to put it is finding out who you really are, but I think the best, to make it sound cool, I call it finding your true name. So, I think they're, I think witches practice that kind of concept, but they call it their magical name. I'm not sure I was Googling shit about it, so before I decided to make this video, see if there was someone else who would discuss this, or had this idea in their head. I don't know who else reads the internet book. <sighs> I'm tired, but people who read, read the Aragon books would understand what I'm talking about, and and if you guys actually read those books, you would probably get get a brief understanding of what I'm getting at. So, um, if if I didn't explain it explain it good enough, because I'm terrible at teaching things, so um, I think that's all I have to say. I guess um, I guess I. I'll let you guys know if I ever discovered it, ever this true name. I know this topic is fucking random as all hell, but I just had to say something because it's been stuck in my head for days since I've been starting the books again. And uh, I just think I should go find it again, try to rediscover myself. Like I recently just fi uh, finished going through therapy and all that stuff, so maybe it's time I go, you know, try meditating and get myself in thought again about looking at myself, reevaluating myself. So, anyway guys, I think that's all, and I'll see you guys later.